All right, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and blessings to the whole of the elect. This is Priest Zai one once again with another edition of uh, GMS News and Prophecy. And uh, I have an article from the Washington Examiner uh, in his headline, uh, Cracks in NATO Alliance on Full Display as Ministers Mark 70th Anniversary in Washington. Okay. Um, now, they just recently had the 70th anniversary of uh, uh, NATO, or the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, earlier this month, uh, you know, c commemorating, uh, you know, all the different nations, you know, mainly uh, the Western nations from Europe and over here in the U.S. Uh, coming together in a uh, alliance. All right, but as you can see from the headline and from the title, all right, it says there's cracks, okay? There's cracks in the NATO alliance. Now, this lesson, I'm going to title this lesson, um, uh, The Hour with the Beast is Almost Up, okay? The Hour with the Beast is Almost Up, all right? Um, and this is pursuant to... Biblical prophecy, okay? All right? The beast is represented in Scripture, which I'm going to see if I can pull up the image here. All right? And this is the image. Let's see that we use. Yep. All right? Here. Um, here, Great Millstone, we pretty much, you know, we use this sign and this image here. Um which is written about in the scriptures, all right? Um, it says, the beast with seven heads and ten horns is NATO, or the North Atlantic Treaty Organizations. The seven heads are seven governments or kingdoms ruled by Esau, okay? So let me go into the scriptures, all right? And let me read... Uh, uh, the prophecy dealing with uh, the hour of the beast. So this is Revelation 17. Um, I'll start from one and I'll read down. And all of this that I'm going to read down, this is talking about America or the, or the United States. Okay? Um, so it says, And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vows. And talk with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. The great whore is America. All right, the same thing that you see in this image here, this image of this this woman, this is the United States of America. Like it says here, Revelation 17 and 1, the great whore. Okay? Um, let's see here. I'm going to keep reading. This is verse 2. It says, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So all these different nations uh, from around the world have been influenced by America, whether it's China, Japan, uh, the Middle East, Europe, okay, Africa. All right, they've all been influenced by the the the. The ways, you know, uh, um, certain uh, legislation laws that have been passed through by America, um, especially uh, the, uh, democracy, okay? So now I'm going to keep reading. It says, verse 3, So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a, scar a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. All right, and once again, as you can see here, this is the, the woman riding on a beast with the golden cup in her hand. 
okay? Um, and it talks about the different, if you can see here, speaks about the, the abominations, which is the philosophies of America, which is, number one, democracy, religion, idolatry, homosexuality, right? Because when America in 2011, when Obama had legalized same-sex marriage, uh, uh, other countries around the world started too as well. I believe France was one of them, okay? So that's proof of the influence of America over these other nations, okay? Uh, lies, adultery, covetousness, and murder, right? And all these, all, all these countries are, are involved in major wars, okay? Right? Um, and this is <laughs> the blasphemy of the seven heads, right? Which you have Germania Major, Right, and I'm going from I'm going from left to right. All right, Germania Major, the Romans, the French, the Spanish, Germania Minor, the British, and the Greeks. Those are the seven heads, and all the countries that are allied w with America today come out of these countries. Okay, all right, and they all make up the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, uh, uh, um, along with America. All right, and America is the one leading or writing or steering this system, okay? And that's the point of the, uh, 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 the cup um, 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 and that's the point of the cup, okay, in which all the different nations have committed their fornication. All right, so this is back in Revelation 17 and 5. It says, and upon her forehead was a name written, mystery, because it's a mystery who, who the, the whore is, that great whore is. It says, mystery, Babylon the great, which Babylon goes back to a Hebrew word, babal, which means confusion. All right, babal the great, or Babylon the great, meaning it's a place of great confusion, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth, because like I said, every nation is influenced by America. Okay. Uh, and I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Yahweh Shai. And this no hidden fact that the Israelites, the so-called blasphemers and Native Americans, that their blood has been shed by the United States of America. All right. That's a known fact all around the world. The proof of that was when uh, this guy, um, Ahmadinejad, was the leader over Iran. He spoke about in one of his last speeches, uh, he spoke about America putting the, the so-called African-Americans in slavery. All right? So that's a known fact. Okay? And the world knows it. And the world's watching America. All right? So it says, And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Yahweh Shai. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? All right, and the reason why John the Revelator marveled because America is a place of great deception, Hollywood and, 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 and your dreams and capitalism and anybody from the bottom can make it to the top, you know. A lone, you know, a, a old peanut farmer from Georgia can become the president. Speaking about uh, this guy, uh, uh, President Carter, you know, a, a kid from the South Side from Chicago becoming the president. Speaking about Barack Obama, that's the the type of uh, 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 things that they tell you, you know, in school growing up here, you know. Um, you know, you could be an actor or a movie star or CEO, okay? So it says, and the angel said unto me, wherefore didst thou marvel? Or, you know, why are you marveling? It says, I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carrieth her, which hath the seven heads and ten horns. Because this beast, this system, NATO, carries America. All right? But guess what? It's getting ready to get to a point to where it's not going to no longer carry America. America's going to be that burdensome rider on the beast's back. And like I'm getting ready to read in the prophecy, all these different heads are going to turn they're, they're dragging like mouths to burn America up or burn this woman off his back. Okay? 
uh, I'm going to keep reading. I'm not going to be too much longer. All right. But this is a heavy topic. So I'm uh, I'm going to go with the spirit. It says. This is Revelation 17 and eight. The beast that thou sawest was and is not. That's speaking about the Roman Empire. OK. And shall ascend out of the bottomless pit. The bottomless pit is Europe. Because that's where the Roman Empire was established. And that's where it, it, it um, um, will also ascend out of this system. 2,000 years ago, a little less than 2,000 years ago, the Roman Empire was put down during the reign of uh, 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 Septimius Severius, a so-called black man. Okay? And it was resurrected again. All right, in these last uh, 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 few centuries, okay, and became NATO and the EU, all right? So it says, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit, which it has, and go into perdition, which it will, which perdition means judgment, all right? This whole system this, that is set up by Esau through this, uh, this, this uh, North Atlantic Treaty Organization is going to be destroyed, it says, and they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world when they behold that the beast that was and is not and yet is. All right. Uh, it's, it says, and here's the mind which hath wisdom. The seven hands are seven mountains on which the woman sits, meaning nations, countries. And there are seven kings, meaning rulers, five are fallen. And one is, and the other is not yet come. And when he come, cometh, he must continue a short space. This is going into the fall of certain countries on the beast during that period. Okay. Uh, which at that time of John, John the Baptist. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, John the Revelator. Um, <clears throat> uh uh, it was the British that had not yet come, okay? The British had not yet come, but it came later, and it continued all the way up until now. You had something called the British Empire, which today you still technically have the British Empire, and that's where you get the great whore, okay? That's where America comes out of when you go into the, the uh, uh, so-called American Revolution, all right? You know, this topic goes into, you know, history, you know, you know, basically spanning the last 2,000 years and certain key events that happen in history are part of this prophecy, all right? And I'm just naming a couple just to go through this. Um, if the spirit hits me, I'll probably go back and do a full breakdown of this, but I'm going to, um, to get, I'm I'm getting closer to the point now. It says in verse 11, And the beast that was and is not even he is the eighth and is of the seven and goeth into perdition. All right? Which is Rome. Okay? And all these countries, NATO, they came into um, fruition through something called the Treaty of Rome. Okay? Um, now, before I get that, it says, and this is the point, it says, and the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as of yet, as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. All right. It says they have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. The ten horns are going to give their power unto the beast. Okay. Now let's get into it. All right. Now. The ten horns, okay? <clears throat> All right. Well, let's get into the beast. Like I said, NATO, all right? NATO is the beast, which is the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. And this is from Wikipedia. It says, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, also called the North Atlantic Alliance, is an intergovernmental military alliance. Remember, the blessing of the so-called white man Esau is the sword. So his main power is going to be through his military might. All right? It says between 29 North American and European countries. Okay? 
The organization implements the North Atlantic Treaty that was signed on April 4th, 1949. All right? Uh, and that's the point there. So 1949, it was NATO uh, established. Now, when you go into the establishment of these different countries, right, let's go back to the beast. All right, the beast here. <clears throat> See if I have it over here. Yep, this is the beast. It says NATO is an acronym for which I read that. It says uh, which is uh, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, and it says it was established August fourth, nineteen forty nine, consisting of nineteen nations: Greece, Italy, which is now is is um twenty nine. Okay, as of uh today's date is uh April. The twenty third, two thousand nineteen, the year of Karagma, which soon this same system is going to push the Karagma, which is also known as the Mark of the Beast in Revelation the thirteenth chapter. All right, which is going to be the microchip implant, it's soon going to be mandatory around the world. Okay. Now before that happens, okay, um, or it's just happening, this system is going to to basically be crumbling. And that's what you see in the article that I brought out about there's cracks in the NATO alliance. Okay? So I'm going to continue reading. It says, Greece, Italy, Spain, France, West Germany, United Kingdom, Portugal, Belgium, Netherlands, Luxembourg, Canada, Norway, uh, Denmark, Iceland, Turkey, United States, uh, Poland, Hungary, Czech Republic. Like I said, there's 10 other nations. These nations make up NATO, which is the beast. Okay? It also speaks about the ten horns in the prophecy, all right? And that's the next key point, okay? So let's read that. This is Revelation 17, and uh, 14, it says, These shall make war with the Lamb. So like, well, let me go back to verse 12. It says, And the ten horns with thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet, but received power as kings went out with the beast. That's talking about the European Union, okay? The European Union are the ten horns on the beast, okay? And the European Union, it says here, right? The European Union is a political and economic union of 28 member states that are located primarily in Europe. All right. Um, let's see here. I want to get to the points. Uh, and these same countries here. All right. Are also a part of NATO. <laughs> okay. And that's where you get the link. All right. Now. The European Union, let's get it here. It says the EU and European citizenship were established when the Maastricht Treaty came into force in 1993. The EU traces its origins to the European Coal and Steel Community, the ECSC, and the European Economic Community established respectively by the 1951 Treaty of Paris and 1957 Treaty of Rome. Okay. The Treaty of Rome, because all of this goes back to the Roman Empire, all right? It's a spiritual, according to biblical prophecy, that these countries establish themselves on, underneath the Treaty of Rome, all right? And this is where you get that one hour with the beast, okay? Because these same nations are also a part of NATO, okay? Okay? Let's just see if I can get, yep, 29 states. And all these countries that are part of NATO are part of the EU, except for what you have here, you have the United States. The United States is not part of the EU because it's, it's here in America. All right, same thing with Canada. All right, let me, get, let me go back. I'm going to leave Canada. It's not a part of the EU. Nope, as you can see here, 28 states, all right, and certain other countries, 
All right, because remember, EU is a European based uh, establishment which goes back to the bottomless pit. It rose up out of the bottomless pit, the bottomless pit, all right, and it's going to eventually go back into judgment, but this time along with the horror that rides upon it, which is America. And we're starting to see the cracks, okay, in, um, all right. And this is the main point. You're starting to see the cracks in the NATO alliance. All right, so let's get some of this here. It says, NATO on the defensive. When NATO Secretary General John Stoltenberg addressed a joint meeting of Congress yesterday morning to mark the anniversary of the alliance's founding in Washington on this date in 1949, uh, which was April 4, 2000, uh, 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 1949, okay, it said, instead of the standard platitudes, he had to address the elephant in the House chamber. NATO at 70 is under strain. It says, we have to be frank. Questions are being asked on both sides of the Atlantic about the strength of our partnership. And yes, there are differences, Stoltenberg said. While attempting to add some historical perspective to what he called serious issues and serious disagreements. Okay. It says NATO's seen this move before. The Suez Crisis 1956. The French withdrawal from military co uh, cooperation in NATO in 1966. And the Iraq War in 2003. All right. That was when NATO started to be shaken up. Now when you go into the hour of the beast. Right in the prophecy, okay. We gotta remember, all right, that an hour is broken down, and this is something that the apostles had taught us. Apostle Har, Apostle Gabon down, Apostle Ramlot taught us that. Um, let's see here. Of course, there's 24 hours in one day, but like the scripture says, there's 1,000 years. And one day with the Lord. So when you divide that by 24 hours, you get a little less than 42, all right, which is 41.6, all right, which would be a little less than 42 years. Or you can round that off to 42 years, okay? Um, now, NATO was established... 1949, and the EU, you remember we're talking about the Ten Toes. The EU was established in 1958. And when you add the 42 years to it, what do you get? 2000, which is roughly around the time when, uh, 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 or, or when, you know, which is a part of the reason why the doctrine back in One West would be that the year 2000, the system would be destroyed, okay? But remember, the scripture says that there would be a time when we would seek after the day of the Lord, but it shall not come, all right? But then the scripture also says, too, in, in Hosea, the sixth chapter, in two days he will reside, revive us, and the third day he shall raise us up. That's in Hosea, the sixth chapter, I believe around the third or fourth verse. So when you do all these numbers, you got to remember these things are, uh, uh, it's all in the spirit, okay? But there were major, as you can see over time, that there were major strains in the uh, alliance of NATO going back to 2003. And the Iraq war was something, okay, which was three years after 2000, of course, all right, all uh, right? Even if you would have put, what, what 41.6 years, it would still be, let's see. Let's see, 1999. And these, you know, 1999, 2000, these were heavy years, okay? And, and uh, um, in time, in history, you know? The Y2K bug and all of that, but nothing happened. Because it's all in the, the hand of Yahweh Bashmi was Shai. But the tensions, all right, this hour, and that's what I want to get into, this hour 
All right, Esau's on 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 on. He's basically on borrowed time right now. Okay, he was set up during these particular years, as the prophecy states, but now it's getting ready to crumble. Okay, so I'm gonna get back in the article. It says the strength of NATO is that despite our differences, we have always been able to unite around our core task to defend each other. He said, reminding those who need it. Reminding that NATO was founded on an ironclad commitment to a solemn promise, one for all and all for one. This is going to their their philosophy of their new world order, in which these Edomites, these so-called white people, want to establish underneath their elites. Okay. All right. Saying that this thing is made of <laughs> iron, man, but it's coming to. It's coming to an end. I'm not going to go go into this this whole article. It's a lot. There's a lot of information. I've already gone for over 25 minutes on, you know, breaking certain things down in the spirit that brothers may or may not have. But let me get into the scripture real quick. Let me pull this scripture out. Um, leaves in the book of Job. Let's see. Yep, this is Job. 14, it says, and 5, it says, seeing his days are determined. Whose days? The so-called white man's days in this kingdom. They're determined. Okay? The number of his months are with thee. All right? So going back to the whole year 2000 thing, that's, that's not, it was a gauge, all right, so to speak. But we don't have the mind of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, okay? We all just go in the spirit. That's why it says the number of his months are with thee. Who? Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. Mainly Yahweh. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So there's going to be a time when this man is going to be taken down. Okay? And Yahweh Shai said to himself, if Satan be divided, okay, how then can his kingdom stand? Okay? Let me see. Yep. It's Matthew 12. In 26, and if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? All right? And they're casting each other out, cussing each other out here in, in NATO and the EU. All right? They're against each other. So their kingdom cannot stand, man. Okay? All right? There's cracks in the alliance, man, in the beast. Okay? Let's go to, let's go to a... Another prophecy, which is Daniel, the second chapter, right? This is Daniel 2, all right? Uh, I'll start at 40. It says, in the fourth kingdom, which shall be as strong as iron, which is this beast, NATO. For as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdueth all things, and as iron that breaketh all these, shall it break in pieces and bruise, which it has done. All right. America, NATO, the EU, for the for the past what seventy years, they've been wreaking havoc in the earth. Earth. Okay. But that's soon. But that's now coming to an end. It says, and whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of part of clay and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided. Okay, that's what we're seeing here. Cracks in NATO alliance on full display as ministers mark the 70th anniversary in Washington. Okay, they're here in America in the whore, and there's, there's just cracks in the alliance because this prophecy has to take place. All right, it has to be broken. It has to be divided. It says, but there shall be in it of the strength of the iron, which is the military might. For as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay, and as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, meaning you got economically strong, financially strong, militarily strong nations with weaker nations, and they're not coming together. It says, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. All right? So we're seeing... The end of Esau's system, the end of NATO, 
all right? The end of the beast, and that hour is almost up, all right? The hour with the beast, all right? I can really say time's up, like I just read in Job, all right? The Heavenly Father, he sets the time period, okay? The hour's up, man, all right? You had your years, you know? You had your time period. You had your 41.6 years, okay, with NATO in America, the EU being. And that's why we're seeing the EU breaking up, the Brexit, because it's prophecy, man, okay? That's why these elites wanted to get things done by the year 2000. You know, it was just all in the spirit, you know? But we're seeing it being broken up now, and that's the point. That's where we got to stay faithful. These prophecies are coming to pass, man. Okay, Esau is done, man. Okay, um, let's see. All right, I don't, and that, let's see. Let's go back to Revelation. I'm not going to be too much longer. Revelation 17. All right, Revelation 17. Okay. Revelation 17 and 13, it says, These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. All right, in which they were at one point, you had the you had the EU, NATO, and America all in one. But now they're coming against each other. It says, "These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them." Who's the Lamb? The Lamb is Yahweh Shai. This is why they want this space force. Trump and Russia and all these countries want this space force, but Yahweh Shai is going to come from space with the so-called UFOs, the chariots of God. All right, chariots of the Most High, and destroy them. For he is Lord of lords and king of kings, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. That's, that's the elect. And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest where the whore sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. And that's the influence of America over the whole world. Okay? Bases here and there. You know, I believe America has bases in over 200 countries now. Okay? Not more. All the people that's been mingling over here in the United States for all these years. Okay? It says, And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. So NATO's gonna gonna soon hate America, man. NATO and the EU are going to hate America and destroy America. Okay? Um let's see. There's any points. Because it all goes back to uh, to Trump, okay? Let's see. There's so many issues, <laughs> as you can see, so many issues going on uh, you know, with NATO. It's, 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 you know, NATO, Trump, and America, it's, it's, it's it's time that the Heavenly Father shuts this system down, man. Okay? And that's the main point. All right? The Lord is going to shut this system down. Um, it says, And the ten horns with thou sowest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. All right? And that's going to be via these thermonuclear missiles that's going to be shot over here. To America from Russia, China, Europe, European Union, other countries as well to destroy this place. All right, it says for the Most High to put in their hearts to fulfill His will. It's all about the will of the Heavenly Father. Okay, that's all this is. This is the prophecies of the Lord coming to pass. It says, and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast. So the whole reason why we have a NATO and a European Union and all these organizations is because it's the will of the Lord, man. Everything you see on the news is happening is all according to the will and the word of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. It says, uh, For the Most High hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast, unto NATO. All right, the ten horns, which is the EU, they're part of the beast, along with America, until the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled. Okay? So that hour, okay? The hour with the beast is up, man. All right? The hour with the beast is up. I'm going to read this again. Revelation 17 and 
12. And the ten horns with thou saws are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but received power as one as kings, one hour with the beast. I believe you're going to see more and more of this happening in the news. Okay? It says, Cracks in NATO alliance on full display as ministers mark 70th anniversary in Washington. And that's this month. Okay? April. All right? So we're going to start seeing more and more differences between these nations. All right? And uh, with that, I'm going to end it there. I hope this was edifying. I hope, you know, this uh, 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 built up your spirit. You know, certain information and history I brought out. Um, you know, it's all according to the will of your high boss, was shy, man. This place is over. It's done. So let us stay faithful with the Lamb. All right, so with that, I'm going to give our praise and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekakwadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. All right, to the next time, I say Shalom.